Greetings tubers, MZ here with you for another edition of Who's the Savage Now? Who's the Savage Now? It's November something, something or something, something or other. 2018, that's what they say, That's what they tell me. They say it's November 2018, apparently, allegedly, allegedly. Who knows for sure? Uh, this is another KPFK video. I'm sorry I'm stuck on KPFK. It's like an old girlfriend you can't kick or an old bad habit you can't get rid of man you just got going back keep going back keep going back like some 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 abused animal or something speaking of animal abuse stop dog meat stop be kind to animals please please be kind to each other be kind to yourself for god's sakes man Another edition of Who's the Savage Now, coming to you live and direct from the poor man's beachfront condo here on the edge of a continent. That's right. The very edge. Uh, in an undisclosed seaside city. In a <laughs> recently... <laughs> in a recently returned to its undisclosed status. Undisclosed seaside city, not, not far from the megapolis known as Los Angeles, California. Yeah, 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 humanity gone wrong. Just exhibit A, Los Angeles, California. Uh, or si the design of a city gone wrong. Exhibit A, Los Angeles. But why am I here today? Why am I here today? Because you know why? Well, I'm just making videos. Because about things that I see in the world that need a video made about them. You know, injustice. Injustice. Uh, false propaganda. You know, people pushing propaganda, especially in the news. I, I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of hearing it on my freaking, my go-to stations, KPFK. I'm tired of it, man. And places like KCRW, well, KCRW is NPR. You know, they're NPR, so we know who funds them. National Petroleum Radio. But KPFK is supposed to be local, independent. Independent! Like, what the, what the F? KPFK, I was listening to rising up with Sonali at last Wednesday and Thursday. It was the same freaking show. They like to keep you guessing. They don't They don't tell you anything like, oh, this show's a repeat. They just, I, I, like, I thought, I thought she was reading the same freaking news story two days in a row. I'm like, she's really pushing this hard. Then I realized it was a, a repeat. Sonali Kohatkar, I've been listening to Sonali Kohatkar since it was, since rising up was uprising. Okay? She had to change the name of her show for some reason it was uprising all, all along i guess kpfk owned that so she made it her own show i think rising up with sonali anyway she's always been a reliable source of information i thought i thought until uh last wednesday until last wednesday she did this story on chicken pox outbreak in north carolina it's like it, it's like it's, it reads like a big pharma press release it's and she's trying she's reading it in her headlines right She's reading this in her headlines. My jaw's hitting the floor. I'm like, there's no attribution. She she's makes wild accusations about herd immunity and compares, falsely compares skeptical, legitimate skepticism regarding the safety and efficacy of vaccines with climate deniers, people that are skeptical of the safety and efficacy of vaccines. She compares them to climate deniers. Okay? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. This show, this story aired two times, Wednesday and Thursday, Thanksgiving and the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, November 22nd and November 21st. It was a repeat show, I think. I, I, I don't know what's going on. They never tell you what. They just replay the show. They replayed two Tom Hartman shows before noon one day. I'm like, are you kidding me? Not the same show, but like shows that I had already heard. I mean, they re they're like, why not get somebody who's willing to come in, get a programmer who, you know, maybe get a young programmer who's hungry, who will willing to work on holidays to come in and do a live, something live. I mean, come on, man, get with it. And one other thing, KPFK, what's his name needs an hour? Uh, Harvey Wasserman, Solartopia, that show needs to be an hour. He's like, it's embarrassing. He's squeezing in everything that he's got to share with, in 30 minutes. Give the guy an hour, come on. Solartopia, and he's got one of the best, one of the best song, theme songs, along with Jerry Quickly, along with uh, Loudmouth Jerry Quickly. 
here it is. Here's Sonali's story. Are you ready? I'm going to play it right now. Sonali's story on uh, last Wednesday and Thursday. What number was it? 3.30. Okay, I'll turn this on. Authorities are calling it the okay. serious outbreak of chickenpox in a North Carolina suburb. Authorities are calling it the state's largest such outbreak in decades. Okay. At the heart of the outbreak is Asheville Waldorf School, where 36 children were diagnosed with the disease. The school has one of the highest rates of refusing vaccinations for children. So she's already, oh, they, they don't vaccinate, so that must be the reason. <laughs> that must be the reason. So already she's misleading us into, into thinking that, oh, okay, that's the reason they didn't vaccinate. It serves them right. Right? And that's, that's, that's completely false, completely misrepresenting the facts, man, as I know them, as I know them, okay? Completely. People are getting wise. People are getting wise to vaccines, the dangers of vaccines, okay? And so they're choosing not to vaccinate, and now the big farm is coming out with this crap, with this crap, okay? Is this, is this Sonali's... Uh, uh, you know, we, uh, Achilles heel is just what she's got to read this press release from uh, Big Pharma to do her news show. What? What? I'm tired of it, man. This is crazy. This is the first time I've ever heard anything like this from Sonali. This is this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Start it this outbreak of chickenpox in a North Carolina suburb. Authorities are calling it the state's largest such outbreak in decades. At the heart of the out authorities are calling it the largest outbreak in decades. Run, run, be afraid. Break is Asheville Waldorf School, where 36 children were diagnosed with the disease. The school has one of the highest. That's the first thing she tells you. That's the first thing she goes to. They don't vaccinate their kids there. The highest, highest ratio of unvaccinated kids. It's like. I see through it. You see, it's, just, it's too, it's too. Uh, it's great. So refusing vaccinations for children. Many parents show. And rightly so. A deep ignorance of the ways in which vaccines and herd immunity work. Who's talking here? She's not. When you do a vaccine story, normally you have an MD or a clinician or a state authority on, on diseases. She's not, there's not. There's nobody mentioned in this freaking story. No attribution whatsoever. There's, is she, did she write this? Did Sonali write this crap? Huh? Pissed off, man. This is, this is, this is bullshit. They got, I drive by a school right here locally, John Adams Middle School, Jams, over here on uh, Pearl Street. And I see up on their marquee, vaccines due by this date like I, I uh, whenever it was last May or something I would see the notice up there often what's that what's wrong oh no oh no just lost my battery power god damn it I have to redo this wait a minute let's see if we can wait hold pause got it I'm back. I'm dealing with uh, my phones have never been the same after the, my Jason Goodman videos months ago. Okay, four or five months ago, uh, they put they send out when you, you know, as you might expect, people that you criticize don't like it very much. So they they implement measures, uh, and my phones have never been the same. They just do all kinds of crazy stuff and especially uh, like yeah just so this phone is very sensitive but it's got all my sound library on it I'm sure you wanted to know that okay. just such outbreak in decades at the heart of the outbreak is Asheville Waldorf school where 36 children were diagnosed with the disease the school has one of the highest rates of refusing vaccinations for children. Many parents show a deep ignorance of the ways. 
Oh, that must have been the reason. Oh, my phone just, Jesus, God darn it. Can't, hard to do a show with, with malfunction, technical malfunctions. Anyway, you can look it up. <laughs> well, God damn it. God damn it. Wait. Let's pause, 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 pause. Anyway, how, what else is going on? Everything good? Good, good, good. Take three. Here we go. Sonali Kohat car. Talking about vaccines. T chicken pox outbreak in North Carolina. Blaming it on the people that didn't get vaccinated. What? What? This outbreak of chicken pox in a North Carolina suburb. Authorities are calling it the state's largest such outbreak in decades. At the heart of the outbreak is Asheville Waldorf School, where 36 children were diagnosed with the disease. The school has one of the highest rates of refusing vaccinations for children. Many parents show a deep ignorance of the ways in which vaccines and herd immunity work, as well as of the dangers of chickenpox, which can be a deadly disease. Herd immunity, what's that, Sonali? What, 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 what's herd immunity? She does, there's no explanation, no context for it. It's a, it's a, it's. I don't. It's not very. It's not a scientific term. You, I don't think you're going to find it in in a doctor's uh, medical ma manual. It's a concept. It's a theory. And before vaccines, there used to be herd immunity. Used to be natural immunity. Like when a disease would wipe out a certain amount of pop of the population, the population would develop a natural immunity to that virus okay and that's that was called herd immunity now post vaccines the big pharma has taken has you know taken control of that term and is using it as a uh, to beat people over the head to go get their vaccine herd immunity herd immunity it doesn't make any sense scientifically just common sense like wait a minute if vaccines work why are you worried about me not getting vaccinated that doesn't make any sense, logically, commonsensically, does it? No, that's why they got to make it freaking mandatory. People are getting too wise to it, okay? And here comes Sonali, okay, T talking about people being ignorant who don't want to vaccinate their kids. Sonali, no, you're ignorant for breeding this big pharma propaganda on your independent, supposed independent news show f that f that take that news story and shove it <sighs> kpfk what it's becoming like the alex jones show over there some of it's true some of it's not true 100 percent hidden agenda let me know what you think in the comment sections below Questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, confessions, compliments, complaints. Especially when an infant too young to be vaccinated comes in contact with it. One parent named Amy... Too young to be vaccinated? The big Pharma doesn't know such a thing. Gordon, who lives in Asheville, told press, What's the big deal with chicken box? There is no big deal. She added, If I was a parent with a kid who wasn't vaccinated... I'd want to send my kid to the Waldorf school to get chicken pox. Who wrote this? You know some big pharma on it. Okay, okay, let's okay, let's finish up. Let's put a quote in from the dumbest, the dumbest local we can find. We'll put it in like saying, "Yeah, I don't care about chicken pox." Oh my God. Just as is the case on climate change, there are deep pockets of denialism around vaccines in the U.S. Le oh, you kidding me, Sonali? You're kidding me? You're comparing climate deniers to people that are legitimately skeptical about the safety and efficacy of vaccines? Why do they have a vaccine court? Why are vaccine manufacturers exempted from any liability result that results in de injury or damage or death? to the people that receive their products. Why are they exempted by the government, uh, Sonali? Why is there a vaccine court that awards damages to people that, whose kids are damaged by vaccines? Why is that true, Sonali, if, if they're so safe and effective? Why do they come with disclaimers? Warning of health, adverse health effects, Sonali, if, if we're so ignorant 
If we're so ignorant about vaccines, why do they come with disclaimers? Why is there a vaccine court that awards damages to people that are injured from vaccines? And why are vaccine manufacturers exempt from any liability resulting in damage, health damage to people that receive their products? Let's let's see a story on that, Sonali. Okay, why don't you ask those questions and delve into those aspects of this vaccine issue? You're just reading a press release from Big Pharma. Take that back. Take shove that. Shove it up somewhere where not on the air. Leading to previously eradicated diseases coming back. President Trump. Leading to previously eradicated diseases coming back. But well, wait a minute. There's still there's a debate about if vaccines were the, res were the reason that the diseases were eradicated anyway. A lot of people say it was just sanitation and hygiene did a lot for, to eradicate diseases, okay? And it, the, 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 the diseases were already on the decline when vaccines came along, okay? There's a whole school of thought about that. Look into that, Sonali. I can't believe you're so ignorant. I cannot, this is, I cannot believe that, that Jerry Quickly and Sonali are this ignorant about vaccines and what people say to them and why people are angry at them and and Ian Masters is another one he's on this Russia thing him and Jerry should get on MSNBC man because that's what they do every night Rachel Maddow it's Russia 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 it was Russia and Ian Masters is, does that once a show at least once a show he'll mention that, well, that's another video. I'll do another video on Ian. Let's just keep this about Sonali and vaccines. And KPFK, the failure of KPFK. To, I mean, who approved that story? Does Sonali, does somebody at the KPFK approve Sonali's stories before she reads them on air? And, or did, did, and who gave her that story? Who wrote that story, Sonali? Who, did you write that? Okay, because there's no attribution for the medical information that you're giving. It's talking about herd immunity, you don't you don't give any context for it, you don't explain it. What is it? What is herd immunity, Sonali, according to you? Okay? According to your sources. Authorities. Okay? Authorities. What authorities, Sonali? Deep ignorance about vaccines. Yeah, there's a deep ignorance about vaccines. People don't know how dangerous they are. People don't know that their kids can die, be severely injured or die from them. But they, read the disclaimer. The MMR uh, vaccine, read the disclaimer that they come with, okay? They tell you, this product may have adverse effects, man. But, oh no, they're safe. Oh, they're, they're safe. Why, then why are they so mandatory if they're so safe? Why do, why do the government has to make them mandatory? Think about that. Whenever something becomes mandatory, that's a problem because people start wising up. Hey man, I'm, I don't want that. I don't want to put aborted fetal tissue and mercury and thimerosal. I don't want to put that crap in me or my kid. I don't want that. I, oh, 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 really? Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's what if we make it mandatory? Your kid can't go to school unless you get it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it, folks. I just wanted to do a quick story on Sonali Kahatkar at KPFK. Uh, very questionable story here, Sonali. What's what? Rising up with big pharma propaganda? Is that what, is that what you're about now? I mean, before this, I, I, I used to enjoy listening to your show. I thought it was very good, alternative, independent perspective. I thought it was truthful until this story. This story is, is deceitful, misleading, and false. Blatantly false. Get it together, KPFK. Get it together, Sonali. Okay, and when did this story come out? The day before Thanksgiving and the day of Thanksgiving. When are they pushing this crap down your throat? When no, nobody's listening. Is anybody listening to this station? What are the ratings like? Go to the YouTube channel. They got no... Nobody's watching them on YouTube. I guess everybody's listening to them on, on... Everybody's at home listening on the transistor radio. <laughs> People are gathered around the big transistor radio at home that tuning into KPFK Jerry quickly yeah it was Russia yeah vaccines are good people are stupid if they don't take vaccines we're gonna have a chicken box outbreak and all those diseases are gonna come back on run run fear mongering fear mongering KPFK fear mongering fear mongering and KPFK uh, programmers fear mongering that's all it is.
<laughs> I hope I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. Good, 20 minutes in and out. Quick video. It's uh, it's uh, Sunday, November, late November. By the end of the week, it's going to be December. Get it together, folks. Holidays are coming up. I'll do another video on holidays, my perspective on holidays. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you uh, uh, enjoy the channel. Handcrafted, what is it? Handcrafted animal rights advocacy, music, vegan cuisine, and commentary. This is commentary. Hard-hitting commentary about KPFK, one of my favorite channels. I mean, wh where else are you supposed to go? Where else are you supposed to go? PRN, Gary Nall, but there's problems with him too. I, I need to do some videos, but people aren't interested in his videos, but I got to do them. I got to do them because I got to get this out of my system. Just, it just, it bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me when this, when people do this, people that you trust to get news, do this kind of stuff. It deserves to be called out. It deserves to be called out. It, it begs to be called out. I hear it. I hear it. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you hear it too. From, I hope you get the echo from this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. Have a great rest of your day. MZ out.